The problem here is that no technical vulnerability is exploited and most of the systems today, most of the security systems look for an exploitation of technical vulnerabilities. So a typical firewall or an intrusion detection system can't help me against the social engineering techniques because uh, actually the attacker uses the credentials of a valid user and uh, therefore when the attacker penetrates the system, this cannot be detected. So the worst case scenario for an organization is that an attacker penetrates their infrastructure. This attacker remains undetected and uh, he remains in the system for weeks, even months, and installs a backdoor there and is able to get confidential information. And this kind of attack we refer to as an APT, an Advanced Persistent Threat. There are not so many systems that can actually deal with such social engineering attacks. And uh, therefore we developed ACIDS that should tackle this problem. ACIDS stands for Automatic Event Correlation for Incident Detection and is a novel anomaly detection mechanism and algorithm that we developed here at AIT. Whenever an attacker gets access to the ICT network, even if he uses the legitimate uh, user credentials, he will use the system eventually in another way than the legitimate user. For instance, he will use services in different orders, like the normal user does. And this is something, some, some deviation in the system uh, utilization behavior that ACID can detect. And this is when ACID raises an alert. So the core team of ACID consists of seven people, including mathematicians, software developers, software testers, and algorithm designers. And additionally, we have some partner organizations which allow us to deploy and evaluate our system in a real user context. My name is Ivo Friedberg and I'm in the core development team of ACID. We provide a basic interface for an administrator if you just want to use ACID as your, as your uh, security feature. And on the other hand, you can also integrate it um, into existing SIEM solutions. For example, we see how many logs can we, are we processing right now. Then we can look into anomalies. So are the anomalies triggered? When were they triggered? What rule triggered them? And from the anomalies, we can directly jump into the rules and we can see various statistics about different evaluations of the rule. The deployment is very easy and straightforward. So what you have to do is you have to redirect all your log information to one ACID instance where all these log lines are then automatically processed. At first it generates patterns, so basic byte sequences of these log lines and uh, then it tries to classify the log lines to trigger internal events. So every log line can trigger multiple events and then it statistically tries to guess what normal behavior is. So we don't rely on predefined rules, we just generate everything from scratch. 
ACID has been developed in context of a national research project together with the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of the Interior, for instance, and other governmental bodies and organizations from research and industry. The typical use case there was to create a cyber attack information system, so a system that can create situation awareness on a higher level. So ACID also integrates well on a larger scale and contributes much to this national cyber attack information system. ACID is developed at the Austrian Institute of Technology and partly funded within the research projects CAIS and CIIS in course of the Austrian Security Research Program KIRAS of the Federal Ministry for Transport Innovation and Technology. Thank mm -hmm. you.